During my life, I've heard many sermons on the resurrection. Like you, I can recite the events of that first Easter Sunday. We know what the resurrection is, the reuniting of the, sp of the spirit and body in, in its perfect form. We can die no more. Can you imagine that? Life at our prime, never sick, never in pain, never burdened by the ills that so often beset us in mortality. I think of how, how that dark Friday was when Christ was lifted up on the cross. On that terrible Friday, the earth shook and grew dark. Frightful storms lashed at the earth. Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of Jesus, both were overcome with grief and despair. The superb man they lo had loved and honored hung lifeless upon the cross. I think of all the days since the beginning of this world's history, that Friday was the darkest. But the doom of that day did not endure, because on Sunday, the resurrected Lord burst the bonds of death. He ascended from the grave and appeared gloriously triumphant as the Savior of all mankind. And with that sublime act, he softened the devastating, consuming sorrow that gnaws at the souls of those who have lost their precious loved ones. Each of us will have our own Fridays, those days when the universe itself seems shattered and the shards of, the, of our world lie littered upon us in pieces. We will all experience those broken times when it seems we can never be put together again. We will all have our Fridays. But I testify in the name of the one who conquered death, Sunday will come. May we understand and live in thanksgiving for the priceless gifts that come to us and as sons and daughters of a loving Heavenly Father, and for the promise of a, that bright day when we shall all rise triumphant from the grave, that we always know that matter how dark our Friday, Sunday will come.